On March 27, 2020, President Trump signed into law a $2.2 trillion economic stimulus package, which includes direct payments to the American taxpayers. This package has the potential to bring some relief to the American public, as well as to help protect our economy. Unfortunately, it's also a perfect breeding ground for scammers, identity thieves, and terrorists to target you. So here are three quick tips to keep in mind and help keep yourself safe. First, beware of phone scams. The IRS will not call you to request any information in order to process your stimulus payment. This applies to all government agencies. No one will contact you requesting any information. Rest assured, the IRS already has all the information it needs. Any calls that you get of this nature are scams. Hang up and ignore them. Second, beware of phishing scams. Just like with the phone calls, you will not receive an email, text message, or any contact via social media from any government agency requesting any information to process your stimulus payment. You do not need to provide any information to anyone to qualify for this payment. Do not click any links or open any attachments. They are scams. Third, beware of state-related scams. As of March 28th, no state has introduced its own version of a stimulus package. Furthermore, there are no state agencies that are authorized to contact you regarding the federal stimulus package. If you get any phone calls, emails, text messages, or social media contacts, rest assured they are scams. As of now, the only correspondence you should receive regarding your federal stimulus will be after the stimulus has been sent. Within 15 days of sending you your stimulus payment, the IRS is required to mail you a letter explaining the amount of your stimulus and when it was paid, whether a check was mailed to you or direct deposited, and to provide a phone number in case you have a problem. As of now, this is the only correspondence you should receive. This is important information for everybody. So I ask you to please share this with your friends, family, co-workers, and on your social media. Let's make sure everybody knows about this. We don't want to see anybody get hurt. Thank you for watching, and we hope you found this useful.